Hello guys, today we will be starting with the problems in index numbers. First let us look into methods of constructing price index number. I have already given you the theory part but I will be briefly explaining you in this video. First uh, we have two methods of constructing price index number. One is unweighted index number and second one is weighted index number. And, uh, unweighted in the sense you don't assign weights to prices. Here you assign weights to prices. Now, under unweighted, you have simple aggregate method, simple averages of price relatives. And again, under weighted, you have three things. Last pairs method, Pache's method, and Fisher's ideal index number. Under Fisher's ideal index number, you have factor reversal test and time reversal test. We have to solve problems on all these methods in index number. So, first today, we will be solving problems on unweighted index number. And that to first part, that is simple aggregate method so the first method of constructing price index numbers that is unweighted index numbers and under that you have first one simple aggregative method so what is the formula to calculate this simple aggregative method price index number under simple aggregative method formula is price index number is equal to summation p1 divided by summation p0 into 100 so where P01 that is P01 is equal to price index number for which current year with reference to base year. You are calculating price index for current year that is 1 with reference to base period. When you take denominator in the base period it is P01. Yes. Now next P1 is equal to summation P1 is equal to total of prices of current year. And P0 is equal to total of prices of base year. So the way, using this formula we will be solving problems under unweighted index number and that first method simple aggregative method. Now let us move to the first problem under simple aggregative method under unweighted index numbers. First problem calculate price index number by using simple aggregative method for the following data. So what is the data you will be getting in the question is commodities different commodities and prices of those different commodities in base year as well as in current year guys always remember the year which is with smaller number is always to be considered as base year and year with the greater number is always to be considered as current year so now let us look into the solution part calculation of price index number i have told you write down the note first 2010 is base year so it is considered as P0. Next, 2011 is current year. So, it is considered as P1. 0 stands for base period and 1 stands for current period. So, current base period here is 2010 and current period here is 2011. Now, next part of the solution. Put on the table. Commodities, prices in 2010, that is base period. Prices in 2011, that is current period. What do you require in the formula? summation of current period prices and summation of base period prices. So take the total. Total of all prices in 2010 you will come to 62 and total of all prices in 2011 it will come to 65. Apply it in formula. P01 is equal to summation P1 divided by summation P0 into 100. So what is summation P1? 65 divided by summation P0? 62 into 100. So, when you calculate and simplify this, you will get it as P01 is equal to 104.83 percentage. I have already told you in the class and I am repeating once again, any number you multiply it with 100, that means you are converting it to percentages. And remember, price index numbers are always expressed in terms of percentages itself. So, what is conclusion here? You have found out that price index number using simple aggregative method is 104.83 percentage. What is conclusion for this? Conclusion is the prices have increased by 4.83 percentage. How did you get this? Four, you have got price index number as 104.83 minus base period. You, I, told, I have told you already base period is always considered as 100. So, 104.83 minus 100, you will get it as 4.83 percentage from base year 2010 to current year 2011. That means what? 
from 2010 to 2011 the prices have increased up to the extent of 4.83 percentage in order to calculate the rate of increase in the prices or in order to calculate the rate of decrease in the prices we use index numbers so this is all about first problem